environmentalists, and they're not alone, are disappointed at the Auckland Council's decision not to completely close the Waitakere Ranges in a bid to stop the spread of Cody dieback. Councillors voted this afternoon in favour of keeping the regional park open, but closing 13 medium to high risk tracks. 13. There are 172 tracks in the city's second largest regional park. Councillor Penny Hulse is the chair of the council's environment uh, and community committee and also the Waitakere Ward. Councillor Penny, are you there? I am, John, yes. Th thanks for joining us. Which way did you vote? We, I voted for the recommendations. The mayor and I put forward the recommendations that were passed. OK, so that is the 13 tracks closed but not the Waitakere Ranges themselves. So remember these are new track closures that we're proposing. There's already a lot of tracks that are already closed in the Waitakere Ranges. So, so how many, excluding the 13, are now open in total? Um, gosh, we've got hundreds of tracks in the ranges. Sorry, About, I haven't my, got my, the, So the my sense, breakdown. once you've closed these 13, yeah. there will be 172 yeah. 72 still open, right? No, no, we've already closed. Sorry, I'm just, I'm actually still sitting in the council chambers um, with all my pages in front of me. I'll just, I can double check the number of, of um, tracks that Absolutely. we've already Absolutely, you, 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 you do that. Look, yep. that'd be fantastic. Yep. And we'll keep, we'll keep you there while you do that. I'll, I'll talk about the people who have asked for a more complete and absolute closure. Arahui, for example. Te Kawaro, Amaki. Uh, the Tangata Whenua, of course, they are asking for a complete closure. Judith Collins uh, has called the council wimps for not doing a complete closure. Forest and Bird saying complete closure. Scientists, uh, including people who really know the Cody tree, are saying this is a magnificent, unique tree and it is now threatened. And they have all asked you to do more than this. Are you back with those figures, Penny Hulse? Yeah, we're just having a look. So in the in the report, we've got the temporary closures. That uh, that's the 13 track closures. We've got 11 that are going from temporary to permanent, and then we've got some tracks that are already closed. Why don't you do more? Why don't you just say, look, we're tremendously sorry, everyone, but the greater good has to be served. These trees have to be given a shot at being saved. Oh, John, that's why the, the meeting was so long. We've debated this for five hours, and I think in everybody's hearts, ideally, it would be fantastic to say to Aucklanders, you know, let's just leave the forest be and um, abide by the Rahui. Practicality of closing the ranges is huge, and the legal advice we have is, you know, you, you cannot simply um, keep people out of the ranges without some fairly grunty legislation behind us. Also, given the fact that it's not just the park, it's Titarangi, it's Swanson, it's our, you know, the roads to the beaches. So where we've settled is saying we're going to crack on and and close our, our um, medium and high risk tracks. We're going to carry on with the, the track building in the areas where there is no danger to, to kauri and or where there is no kauri and we're also going to really ramp up our, 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 our plea I guess to, to Aucklanders to say think twice before coming to the ranges what about walking at Te Arai or on Pākari Beach or Tawharanui or down south but give the ranges a break. Does the council acknowledge the Cody are endangered? Oh God, of course we do. You know, okay. we've been working on this for Absolutely. So the um, you know, so, so the, so the this science is, is good. Over so, 600, okay. 000, okay. But, so, know, so 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 is this, this we've been taking terribly seriously. Okay. So so the science is good. You agree with it. You take it seriously. These uh, unique and precious trees are endangered. The question is, why aren't you doing more? Is it a failure of nerve or you just don't think? I mean, I'm really interested in your legal advice. Who was that from? It's from the council legal team. Okay, and the and council the legal opinion, team, are they telling you it's not enforceable? They are. And, the you know, let, let's just take a step back. For kauri, we have kauri dieback in the North Island. We have kauri in dock areas and we have it in um, areas that are managed um, by council. 
And the the approach has been to manage the tracks, to close tracks where there's um, high contamination, and also to fund the science. And that's what we've we've been doing: the experimentation with phosphite injections, and also looking for trees that are resistant and breeding from those trees. We've been acknowledged um, around the country for our innovation and the report that we produce. We were the first to measure kauri dieback over the last few years because no one else is doing it or taking it as seriously as we are. And DOC is now using the the type of um, foot cleaning areas that, that we've designed. So we've been working hard out for six years on this. Could we have done more? Of course we could have. But the rahui and the raising of this issue by Te Kaurau Amaki has added a real extra energy to this. So that's why we're ramping up our budget, we're ramping up the track closures, but we're doing what's practical. Penny Hulse Waitakere, councillor, thank you so much for joining us live with uh, well, reaction to that vote that took place at about four o'clock.